How do you come to the Bible anyway? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, when I'm reading the Bible, I believe every single word, every single syllable, every single letter that's there. Now, no, it doesn't mean I understand it all by any stretch. I don't. But I believe it all, and I believe it all by faith. I believe God when he said that he would preserve his word. I believe Jesus himself when he was on earth, and he said that heaven and earth will pass away, but my words shall not pass away. And so I believe it has to be in existence today for us to have our hands on it. So how do you come to the Bible? Do you come in faith? Do you come in faith believing? 1 Thessalonians 2.13 says, For this cause also thank we God without ceasing, because when ye received the word of God which ye heard of us, ye received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth the word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe. In you that believe, that's the faith. Just imagine back then when Paul was just speaking words on his own. And although he did perform miracles, when the words that he spoke, they were taking them as God's word. Not only were they taking him as God's word, Paul said that these words were to be taken and effectually work in them that believed. And that's what God's word does to us and for us today. We need to understand that by faith, we take God's word, we take it in, and we let it effectually work in us. Not effectively, effectually. That meaning that we make it work in us and it does something for us. There's no other book on the planet that can do such things as the Word of God. That's why here we believe the Bible and we suggest that you do the same. Thanks for your time. Make sure that you have that faith in God's Word to effectually work in you.